Is it time for creepy Andy Cohen to be canceled after all of the drama that has gone on over the last several months? It seems some former Bravolibs have a very strong and passionate following. Therefore, they do not believe he should be on Bravo any longer. So what else are they saying and who are they supporting? Keep reading for more details. Andy Cohen has been in hot water with several Bravolibs over the last few years for different reasons. Bethany Frankel was once very appreciative of how much he and Bravo helped to launch her career. Then, she believed the stars of these hit reality shows should form unions so they could get unions. Her reality reckoning tour went against Andy, Bravo, and all involved. That Arachito and my alum also recruited Lee McSweeney, who had grievances against Andy, as well and cited him for doing cocaine with Bravolips. He would then give them favorable edits because they partied together. Brandy Glanville, of RHOBH fame, accused Andy of sexual harassment. She has recently suggested that he would ask her to date the men he thought were cute. Yet he could not be with them as they were straight and he was not. One notable Bravolip he wanted Brandy to date was Southern Charm star, Austin Kroll. According to The Sun, she shared this. He also had FaceTimed her when he claimed he was going to be intimate with Kate Chaston. That was what Brandy deemed sexual harassment, and she has since released the footage. After all of this went down, Brandy's diehard followers had a lot of feelings. They were not happy with Andy Cohen and his behavior and did not hold back to Brandy Glanville. She and Andy Cohen were never friends despite what fans seemed to think. Though some may believe that they had this great relationship, she looked at him as a boss. Furthermore, she was scared to say no to his requests or demands because she wanted to keep working. She did book two RAGGT shows, season two and the OG season four, which took place in Morocco. Sadly, it likely will never see the light of day as Brandy was accused of sexually harassing co-star Caroline Manzo. This has cost Brandy both money and her health. Do you agree that it is time for Andy to go or should these housewives also take accountability? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Amanda has been a professional freelance writer for over a decade, holding both a BA and an MA. Her passions include animals, iced coffee, gnomes, summer, music, and Vanderpump rules. The idea of canceling Andy Cohen, particularly within the context of his role as a prominent television personality and executive producer of Bravo's Real Housewives franchise, raises complex and nuanced issues surrounding media influence, accountability, and the culture of celebrity. Andy Cohen has long been a polarizing figure, revered by many for his charisma, quick wit, and ability to create compelling television, yet criticized by others for his perceived role in exploiting and manipulating the stars of his reality TV shows for profit and entertainment. The evolution of Andy Cohen's image Andy Cohen has enjoyed a meteoric rise in the entertainment industry, particularly through his work with Bravo. As the host of Watch What Happens Live, Cohen became a household name, cultivating a persona that is both playful and provocative. His role as the executive producer of The Real Housewives franchise has positioned him as a key figure in reality television, shaping narratives and influencing public perceptions of the show's cast members. However, with fame comes scrutiny, and Cohen's public image has not been without its detractors. Critics have accused him of being creepy or manipulative, particularly in his interactions with the predominantly female cast members of the Real Housewives series. Some viewers have pointed out moments where Cohen's behavior on air has crossed the line from humorous to uncomfortable, raising questions about whether he is exploiting the women on these shows for entertainment value. The ethics of reality TV and Cohen's rare reality television, by its very nature, blurs the lines between reality and performance. The Real Housewives franchise in particular has been criticized for creating environments that encourage drama, conflict, and emotional vulnerability among its cast members. As the producer, Cohen is often seen as the puppet master behind these scenarios, pulling the strings to create must-watch television. One of the main criticisms leveled against Cohen is that he often seems to delight in the chaos that ensues on these shows, sometimes at the expense of the cast members' well-being. Reunions and special episodes, which Cohen often hosts, are notorious for their confrontational nature, with cast members rehashing old feuds and airing grievances in a highly charged atmosphere. 
Some have argued that Cohen's role in these situations can come across as manipulative, encouraging the women to engage in behavior that could be harmful to their reputations or mental health. Furthermore, Cohen's interactions with the cast members have sometimes been called into question. Critics argue that his comments and questions can sometimes be invasive or inappropriate, particularly in the way he addresses sensitive topics like relationships, finances, and personal struggles. While some viewers appreciate Cohen's directness and willingness to ask the tough questions, others find his approach to be intrusive or disrespectful. The impact of cancel culture the notion of canceling Andy Cohen, or anyone for that matter, is a product of the broader cultural phenomenon known as cancel culture. Cancel culture is a form of social justice activism that seeks to hold public figures accountable for their actions by withdrawing support, often through social media campaigns, boycotts, or calls for them to be fired or deplatformed. Cancel culture is a controversial and polarizing concept. Supporters argue that it is a necessary tool for marginalized groups to challenge powerful figures and institutions, holding them accountable for harmful behavior. In the case of Andy Cohen, those who support canceling him might argue that his behavior towards the women on his shows is exploitative and perpetuates harmful stereotypes about women, particularly women of color, who are often cast in roles that emphasize their perceived aggression or emotional instability. On the other hand, critics of cancel culture argue that it can be overly punitive, silencing dissenting voices and stifling healthy debate. In the case of Cohen, some might argue that canceling him would be an overreaction, given that his role is primarily that of a television host and producer, not a public official or policymaker. They might also point out that the cast members of the Real Housewives franchise are consenting adults who choose to participate in the shows fully aware of the potential consequences. A balanced perspective to navigate the complexities of whether Andy Cohen should be cancelled. It is essential to approach the issue with nuance and a balanced perspective. First and foremost, it is important to consider the agency of the Real Housewives cast members. While Cohen is the producer, the women on these shows are not passive participants. They are individuals with their own motivations, goals, and reasons for participating in reality television. Many of them have used the platform to launch successful businesses, advocacy initiatives, and personal brands. Moreover, it is crucial to distinguish between legitimate criticism of Cohen's behavior and the broader cultural trend of canceling public figures for perceived transgressions. Holding Cohen accountable for instances where his behavior may have crossed the line is valid and necessary. However, it is also important to recognize the potential for cancel culture to become overly punitive, particularly when it is driven by social media outrage rather than thoughtful reflection. Conclusion Accountability versus cancellation In conclusion, the question of whether Andy Cohen should be cancelled is not a straightforward one. While there are legitimate concerns about his behavior and the ethics of reality television, it is essential to approach these issues with a nuanced understanding of the broader cultural and media landscape. Cancel culture, while powerful, is not always the best solution to addressing problematic behavior. Instead, fostering a culture of accountability, where public figures are encouraged to reflect on their actions and make amends, might be a more productive approach. Andy Cohen's role in the entertainment industry is undeniably significant, and he has made substantial contributions to the reality television genre. However, this does not mean that he is above criticism. As viewers and consumers of media, we have a responsibility to hold public figures accountable for their actions, but we must also be mindful of the ways in which cancel culture can sometimes do more harm than good. Ultimately, the goal should be to create a media landscape that is both entertaining and respectful, where all individuals, including the Real Housewives cast members, are treated with dignity and fairness.